Okay, because um, as CEOs in, in for companies, they always have to bury the uh, the the pressure from the board and the investors. So they have to uh, pursue the um, cost efficiency and uh, the profit. So sometimes um, CEOs cannot uh, think too too further away about. Uh, especially about the big question or the society and so on. And uh, um, even though for, uh, especially in recent years, a lot of company has to um, cost down. So they fire people and uh, try, try to focus on survival first. So um, how to balance this, this current survival and versus the future success? We can always say that you should think further. You should be be uh, looking for the future. We can always say so. But however, if the company is facing survival issue, then what can they do? I think it's a real question, um, and it's not a choice of either or of paying attention to the signals on the horizon or paying attention to the business pressures. Uh, the job of the CEO is a big job and it includes everything. Survive is number one. <laughs> but if you look in, if you look in, don't look in about future prepare for that, you will face another challenge to be end of the business. So you survive, you have to make sure you survive all the time, sustainable, all the time. That's number one priority. But in order to sustainable, you will also have to look in about future. In the company daily operation, they have a lot of resources, time and the human resources, equipment, etc. is idle for the short term. That's idle. Anyway, they already idle. CEO, every day is worried about the uh, survive. And uh, actually, they only need to spend one third of time to worry because worry cannot help. So they can two-thirds of time is idle for the future. So why not using those idle time, idle resources, looking for the future? So anyway, in the downturn, no matter what you hard work, don't help too much. Why you take those idle resources, doing something for the new future? That's my you know, <laughs> approach. Uh, I, I think you all know this. Uh, I mean, anybody who does business in China knows exactly what we're talking about, right? Because uh, you will be losing money. But you also have to plan for the future. At least that's the businesses I talk to tell me all the time. 